Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to capture the new Dragon and Grass Pokemon available in Sword and Shield Applin, as well as obtaining Flapple and Appleton, the evolutions of Applin. Now, Flapple and Appleton are version exclusive, so you will be able to only find Flapple in Pokemon Sword and Appleton in Pokemon Shield. Now, the first thing we want to do is head over to Cerebi.net and big shout out to Joe and Cerebi for collating all of this information you can check out Applin and its evolutions here and how it does evolve now there is two specific items that you will need to evolve these Pokemon and we'll get into how to find these items and what they are later in the guide so the first thing we want to do is head out to route 5 so we want to head to Tuffield which I found is the quickest route for locating Applin once you're at the Pokemon Center, what you want to do is take a right and then a left over the bridge and this will take you towards the nursery and once you hit the nursery, you want to take another right down the hill here and this will bring you to an area where there's camping but this big grassy area. Now, Applin will appear here. It isn't weather dependent so it will appear any weather that is active in this area but it is not an overworld encounter so it will only appear through these exclamation marks and this is what we're going to be targeting. I was here for a little while until I actually encountered an Applin but we finally get one after maybe about half an hour so that it didn't take too long and not as long as some of the other encounters. I think it's about a 10% spawn rate it has so that's not too bad. We do manage to catch our first Applin though so that's where you can catch it just in the wild areas. This is route 5 but there are other areas areas where you are able to catch Applin and they appear in max raid dens. So one of the places that you want to be doing going first is going to grab yourselves a wishing piece. Again we're going over to Cerebi.net. Joe has collated a massive amount of information on the dens. The specific den that we're going to be looking for is Drappled Grove and it is Den 58. So first thing first we want to go and grab ourselves a wishing piece. So if we head over to the nursery in the wild area and speak to this NPC will spend a watt and we will get ourselves one wishing piece so this wishing piece is what all we'll need to use to get ourselves an applin or a flapple now what we want to do is head over to our map go to the wild area right down the bottom and go to the meeting spot it's probably the easiest way to access drappled growth so from here you want to be taking a left out of the meeting point and again a left and if you just stick to the area right around to the left here it'll easily take you to Drappled Grove and the raid locations that we're looking for in this guide to specifically spawn Applin and Flapple are quite easy to identify unlike some other dens that are maybe a little bit more difficult to identify as you're going around the wild area so you want to carry on here we're into Drappled Grove now and if you continue around the easy way it is to identify the dens that we're actually going to be targeting here is there are two together and here they are in Drapple Grove so easy to identify this is the one that you want to be going for but a little tip for you so you're not wasting so many wishing pieces is just save in front of this den before you drop your wishing piece in and then drop your wishing piece in and if it is not a solid purple beam you want to be resetting your game closing it down coming back in repeating the process until you get that purple beam as you can see now we have got the purple beam and then the next step what you can do this was an exploit that was discovered over the past weekend what you can do once you've got this purple beam is go into your Ycom system turn on the internet and then go into the purple beam if it's not the Pokemon that you're looking for in this den what you can do is hit the invite others button once it's connected and that timer starts if you hit your home button go down to your system settings go down to system go down to your time and date go turn off the synchronized clock by the internet and move your day forward by one day then come out of this screen go back into your game and what you want to do once you're back in the game is just quit stop looking for this pokemon altogether and then click back in on the purple beam and it will take you back in and the Pokemon voila will have changed. So what you want to do if it's not the Pokemon you want is just recycle this process. Keep doing it until you find the Pokemon that you want and voila we've got Applin. So Applin is here proving that it is in this den so you can catch Applin here as well. Now this is maybe a little bit of a quicker way to do it if you don't want to wander around and look for it 
forever in Route 5. So this is just another method to do it. And alongside this, Applin does appear with Falapple. And if you're very lucky and got the patience for it, then Gigantamax Falapal does appear in this den as well. So as you can see, we've reset again and we've got Falapal. So we can get Falapal without having to worry about evolving Applin with any of those items that are specific to each sword and shield game. So as you can see, Here's Flapple. And as I say as well, one of the other Pokemon that you can obtain in this den specifically is the Gigantamax version of Flapple. Something I haven't actually obtained yet, but something I would really like to obtain somewhere further down the line. And also, as you can see, that we are quite fortunate in this Flapple raid that we do get a hidden ability Flapple, which is extremely, extremely useful because Appleton is really one of those Pokemon that will appreciate its ability thick fat in the competitive have seen so that's something that I will be using at some point on the channel very happy with that and just proving as well that you can get these hidden abilities from the raid so the next thing we want to do is discover the items that evolve these Pokemon what you want to be doing is heading up to Hammerlock the west side of Hammerlock City to this Pokemon Center and once you're here you want to head left again as you're kind of exiting the city and it's this NPC character here you want to speak to he will ask you hey have you heard a rumor you want to say I haven't so once you say that he will go into a little bit of a further story telling you about Applin and if you give it to your crush then your love will last forever so he asks you if you could if you could have your Applin now you give him it but don't worry you will get this Applin back this will then proceed into a cutscene where he will try and give this Applin to a crush of his it's a little bit heartwarming but the story doesn't end sour because she doesn't take the Applin unfortunately because he hasn't caught it but she doesn't shut him down completely saying that if he goes out and catches his own Applin then come back and see me so there will be a happy ending at some point to this story which is nice to know but the main thing is because he doesn't give the Applin to this girl then he gives the Applin back to you as well as a bonus item for your trouble so the item that you will get if you are in Pokemon Sword is the Tart Apple and the item that you will get if you are in the Pokemon Shield version is the Sweet Apple. Now the Tart Apple will evolve Applin into Flapple and that is specifically to Pokemon Sword and you will get the Sweet Apple which will evolve Applin into Appleton if you are in Pokemon Shield. So there we go, we've got the Tart Apple but this isn't the only way you can get this item in the game. Now these items do appear in the wild areas and we'll go into that in just a second but if you are on specific versions to get the other item you will have to ask a friend or somebody you know to trade you the item over to your cart so you can evolve Applin into either Flapple or Appleton depending on the cart that you are. Now what we want to do is head over to the wild area, the area that we really want to be targeting to get these tart or sweet apples. What I've found is going to the Axu Eye which is a little island in the middle of the lake which we'll head to now and I'll show you how to get there but I've had quite a lot of luck at this specific tree collecting these tart and sweet apples so as I say what you want to be doing is heading past East Lake Axew and heading to this lake and then going to the Axew Eye which is right over here over the water the island in the middle of the lake and this tree specifically here as you can see we're going to find a couple of fancy apples so there we go and luckily enough we do find a tart apple now this is the second tart apple i've found here i just keep coming back here and checking and this is where i'm finding so i'm going to be able to evolve my apple in again into another flapple and use it to trade off with other people for that sweet apple that i need for appleton so that rounds up the guide my friends i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it has been useful all the tips and tricks along the way i wish you all the best of luck capturing applin and then using the flapple and appleton in competitive play if you have enjoyed this guide please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and guides and i'll see you all for the next one so until then thank you very much my friends take care of yourselves and until then bye bye